The famous in the news trick where you pour the liquid into the newspaper is one of the most underestimated tricks in magic. It is such a strong routine, many magicians use it for their finishers, but it's almost a forgotten routine. Not many people do it nowadays and many people have come to me and ask if we have a decent gimmick because many of the gimmicks out there on the market have so many issues. Well, we've redesigned the gimmick completely and done it the prop blog way. This has so many advantages. We've got routines from, uh, and in fact, instructions from Max Somerset and routines by Faye Presto. So here's Max to tell you a little bit more about our In The News gimmick. Now, who would have thought that a humble bag like this and a newspaper like that are the key to a very strong closer to your act? Well, at first glance, this does look like just a bag, but this is very carefully purpose designed for the in the news trick and the reason it's so beautifully designed is first and foremost it's textured on the inside and that's really really helpful especially once it's glued into a newspaper the number of times I've struggled to find the center pages in previous models uh, of this bag design um, other bag designs have been made of thicker plastic uh, and and they are they just they, they don't handle very well and also other bag designs um, have been welded very badly uh, <clears throat> along uh, along the welds which are necessary to hold the water and the water and, and it ruptures but in this particular bag this has been welded from the inside so you can put large volumes of water in it and it won't rupture and as far as I'm concerned I don't know about you I want peace of mind if I'm going to dangle this over somebody's head I do not want white wine or worse red wine all over their clothes I don't want a dry cleaning bill. Um, so this being textured on the inside means that it's very easy because of the texture. This comes apart very easily. It's very easy to find the center of it while you're looking for the center pages in the newspaper. Things come apart. Also, it's a very dull um, sheen. So uh, with this, you can confidently open the newspaper up in the center and say, I think that's roughly the center, isn't it? Which is a nice convincer that you just innocently finding this center of a newspaper and you won't see this because it's a very thin bag very thin so this is a vast improvement on previous models and uh, these bags are very very durable I mean you can squeeze them up you can put pretty much uh, a pint uh, of liquid in one of these like this and now you'll see that the liquid is is there the liquid is is now there the other thing is that in on previous models when I used to perform this sometimes now because the liquid was inside the actual moisture would stick the bag together and then the the actual liquid wouldn't come out in one constant flow and that created a weak ending to the performance with this you don't have that problem because it's textured on the inside so it actually emits beautifully into the glass. Let's just have a look. Once it's back the right way up, let's just pour it into the glass. You'll see how it comes out very beautifully, very cleanly. There it goes, all the way into the glass. What you do is you tip this in to the bag. Tip the whole lot in, make sure it's all gone. Put the wine glass down. Now. I hold there with my thumb and first finger and all my other fingers go behind everything else because I'm going to flip it open and let it drop and I put this over someone's head I say to someone okay just blow whatever and I might say a madam if you suck I say what you want um, depending on your bad sense of humor and now you just literally open let it drop I push slightly let it drop and then from there, I do this, and I look. I come underneath and I look, as if I'm trying to find it. And then I will, just using my, my thumb and first finger to give it the illusion of weightlessness now, and you've got to get this ready. Remember, you're going, for you and I now, you're going clockwise. Just go like that and let it drop. And you let that drop, and it looks completely weightless. And with that, I just turn it all the way around, and I say, and I can go through every 
single page of this newspaper. And as I do this, I can go over the heads of a lot of people. If, they, if they're sat in a circular table, or they're sat in a long table, or if you're sat with just three or four people, you can go over the heads and you'll say, and there is absolutely nothing, nothing in this newspaper. The wine has completely evaporated. And so, and the reason, of course, that that is the case is it's a very, very dry white wine. Whatever you want to say. Um, and you go through every page. Because remember, you didn't glue down here. So you can go through every page. Now, at this point, I act as if it's done. And I leave it at that. And I say, so there we are. That's a waste of money, isn't it? And, and, I, and I take the newspaper and I'm always holding, just finger and thumb on the corner, as if it's completely weightless. And now I grab the other side and I'm gonna throw this on the floor. And here's how I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it so that the, um, the actual telegraph, the front page is facing up at me. So I'm gonna throw it like this and down and then I'm gonna pick it up quite quickly. But, so I say, so that's, so that's a waste of money, isn't it? I'll put it down and I pick it up, like that. Now, at this point, I close it in the same way I closed it initially. Back up, sides up. I say, let's reverse this. Madam, you suck. Good, you blow. Great. You lift up the wine glass, whatever. And you tip and gently allow that to all go back in there like that. And I do this. Don't want to waste any. Throw that on the floor as if it's a nothing. And then you say, cheers. What are you going to do after that? Nothing. Just a bag in a newspaper. It's brilliant, isn't it? 